a group of mothers gathered tonight to talk about how to protect kids from shootings. This vigil, one of two held this evening. Data from IMPD shows this year, 38 young people have been killed by gun violence in Indianapolis. Victims between 13 and 19 years old. Our Logan Gay tonight shares the message from moms. It's been a couple of days since a 15 year old student was gunned down in the Kip Indy Legacy High School parking lot in front of his mother. A league of mothers gathered near the school on Sunday to discuss how to prevent this from happening to more children. Today we come together to say enough is enough because while we're bickering and fighting over dollars and territory, kids are dying. Many of the women in the room had lost loved ones to gun violence. It was 48 bullets shot in the apartment. In the room, Ashanti Bean became the most recent woman impacted by gun violence. Her cousin, Devin Gilbert, was that 15-year-old student gunned down at Kip Indy Legacy High School Friday. Me and Devin, we laughed and joked on Thursday, and on Friday, he's no longer here. She says Devin was an average 15-year-old boy. He was a happy, funny 15-year-old boy um, who worked hard. She says her heart breaks for all the teens whose lives were cut short because of gun violence. It's hurtful to hear that a teenage girl went to a Halloween party being a teenager and she was killed. It's hurtful to know that Devin has got a number on him now, number 20, was killed at school. These are all things that teenagers should be able to do. She says now it's time for mothers to step in. I think if we get out as parents and show uh, force and if there's going to be a party, if there's 10 mothers standing out there and we're dressed the same, you know, you know that all eyes are on you. The 15 year old boy who allegedly shot Devin was arrested for murder for his alleged role in the shooting. He's expected to be in court early this week. On Sunday evening, Devin's family friends gathered to light candles and release balloons in his honor. All of them are also now victims after the shooting. You're not just hurting that person that you're angry with or that you have that issue with. You're leaving behind 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 people, you know, family members that are hurt behind that. In Indianapolis, Logan Gay, 13 News. And again, we are expecting to see the 15-year-old suspect in that case near Kip Bindi make their first court appearance tomorrow.